Congratulations on the purchase of your new KTEC Whistler. Now, let's take a look and see how to operate it. So here is your LCD screen. This is where all of your data and all of your information is gonna be input, and this is where you're also gonna get your compression ratio readings. So if you take a look at this, you have buttons on the side here. This is to control which unit you want to adjust or change. So on the left side, this is, these are all customizable uh, menu items, like your temperature, you select it once it turns red, that uh, means that that is the menu that you are selecting. Uh, temperature, when you whistle an engine, you typically want it within five degrees of the actual engine temperature. That's gonna give you your most accurate reading. So once you have it selected, all you have to do is turn the knob and that'll change your unit. So you can do temperature, you can do displacement, you can change it to whatever displacement the engine is, as well as cylinders. You can change it to how many number of cylinders the engine is as well. Additionally, we also have a brightness setting here. So you can, this one right here, hit the brightness setting. You'll get a little message on the bottom that says brightness. And as you turn this knob, you can adjust the, the, the brightness of the screen itself. And then if you go to the settings tab, you can change the units from US to SI. So we'll do that now, I'll change it. So we were in US, now if I go to SI and I go back, you'll see that everything has switched over to CCs and the Celsius, KPA. So we'll change that back to the US. And then additionally on that menu settings, settings menu, we have a save option to where if you are whistling multiple engines that are identical, same compression ratio, same um, displacement, number of cylinders, you can just go ahead, pre-enter your settings, and then you can hit the save tab and it'll say preset saved. Next time you come back to the whistler, all of those settings will already be pre-saved into it, so you don't have to go through and adjust everything back again. On the Whistler, I wanna show you guys how to actually set it up so we can whistle an engine. Here you have what you're, what we call the whistle. This is the actual portion that's gonna go into the uh, combustion chamber of the motor to, rate, to uh, measure the compression ratios. And this is, you're gonna have two hoses on here, and one is correlated by a black ring, one is just a clear tubing. And if you look at the faceplate on the whistle, you can see two inlets. One says ring, one says no ring. We're gonna put the correct corresponding hose to each inlet. So the no ring hose is gonna go on the no ring inlet. Like that. Next, we're gonna hook up our compressed air. Uh, here at KTEC, we recommend that you have at least a 10 gallon air compressor. We're gonna hook that up. And then we're gonna set our regulator. We recommend to have exactly 30 SCFH on that regulator to get a proper compression ratio reading. So I'm below 20. I'm gonna use my coarse regulator adjuster right here. And then I'm gonna fine tune it with this knob down there. Now that we have gone over the operation of the screens and how to hook up the Whistler, we need to do one more thing before we can hook it up to the engine to get our readings. So if you come over here, there's a couple of things. So, if every Whistler that we sell behind this foam insert, there is a certification of calibration. And on it right here, there's gonna be a line that says calibration bottle reading, and it's gonna give you a CC number. What we need to make sure is that we set the units to CC, which I already have. Then I need to make, and then I'm gonna take my whistle, I'm gonna insert it fully into this calibration nozzle on the faceplate. Then I'm gonna reset it. And I'm gonna look at this number right here to make sure that this CC matches what's on my certification of calibration, which it does. So now I can remove that, I can put it to the side, and I gotta make sure that all of my displacement and my cylinders are correct. So this is a 6.6 .6 liter engine. So in CCs, that's 6,600 CCs, so that's correct. The temperature is correct. My cylinders are correct. Now I can come over here, I'm gonna remove you gotta decide which cylinder you want to be testing on. And for the purpose of this, I'm gonna use this rear cylinder. Remove the spark plug. And then we find the correct Whistler adapter fitting. And put that right in the spark plug hole. And it doesn't have to be super tight. Don't have to torque it down, you just have to make it tight. Okay, so now we are ready to whistle this engine. Uh, I'm gonna take my whistle and I'm gonna insert it completely into the adapter. Completely. 
typically when we whistle a motor, we whistle cylinder one, just because there's normally a timing mark on the dampener to correlate where TDC is. Uh, but for the purpose of this on cylinder seven and this engine, I know that TDC is 180 degrees. So I'm gonna grab my wrench here, my ratchet, and I'm gonna start rotating the motor over. One thing you guys need to pay attention to is the noise. Uh, you can actually hear the compressed air coming out of the whistle into the cylinder, coming through the valves. So you can either hear it coming through the intake or the exhaust. So I'm gonna go ahead and start rotating over. And as I'm rotating, what I'm also doing is I wanna come over here, hit the menus tab, and I get my instantaneous compression ratio. I'm gonna rotate that over until I can get the highest number on that. Once it gets higher, then it starts lowering down. I'm gonna back it up until I can achieve that highest number again. All right, so we know that this motor, cylinder seven, is at TDC. We know that we are getting a 12.17 compression ratio. Before I finalize my results, I wanna come in here, and I wanna hit the reset button. I wanna reset everything. My stability bar is gonna tell me how accurate my reading is. So I can tell you that this is a very accurate reading because of where that black line is on this colored bar. If it was all the way in the red, that would mean that I'm not getting a good reading somewhere, it's unstable. Um, but now that it's in the green, I can confidently tell you that this motor, that the compression ratio that I'm getting on the Whistler is accurate to what this motor has. All right, so that is the basic operation of a Whistler, of our new redesigned Whistler. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 586-791-4120 or send us an email to sales at ktechengines.com.